hello everyone welcome back to my channel so today i will take you with me to benin republic it's my first time of visiting benin republic it's the neighboring country to nigeria if like me you haven't visited benin republic before that video welcome because i will take you on the trip and make you feel like you are visiting it's going to be fun i'm going to show you the good the bad the ugly everything you need to know i told you guys in this video up here that i was packing up to go somewhere well yeah is that somewhere so let's get to enjoy the rest of the video and do not forget to hit that subscribe button if you're yet to do so oh so my trip is just about to begin as you guys can see this is the best i could get for my legs piece and it's totally fine i'm here for the experience and the leg will be fine i'm definitely sure once i stretch it the leg will be doing all right so um costa polytechnic i didn't know about costa polytechnic before this is on our way to um um to badagri i had no idea there was a costa polytechnic i have been to badagri before but i didn't quite look around and welcome to nigeria this is the state of the road this is a federal road i believe and it was it is so bad like it's so terrible and luckily for me while um Applying this road we didn't encounter any heavy duty vehicle because I actually left really early and for that reason it was safe to ply the road at the time I, I would advise that if you're taking this road make sure it's early in the morning and you don't have to start fighting with heavy duty vehicles and start struggling with them so my camera could not stay steady because the road was actually terrible like it was really really terrible anyway this is just inward um badagri and here we've arrived at badagri roundabout and um there's something that my tour guard mentioned and i can't wait to have a taste of it she said she has rice for us and i'm looking forward to eating that rice because she said a lot of good things about the jollof rice in um in question and she got it from the boiling pot um yeah one of the restaurants that is actually making the rice so i had to stop by at um a supermarket to just get some toiletries the things i didn't have already like um i like to use uh, wipes so i had to get wipes i had to get um water you know while you know going on this trip of course i'll get tested along the way i had to get water wipes and a few other things so basically there's a supermarket that I just buy the boiling pot that i, I, I had to stop there get the things that you get to get so let's enjoy the rest of the video and definitely i am looking forward to eating my jollof of rice from boiling pot my jollof looks so good What's that? Is that fuel or kerosene? It's fuel. They're talking that smuggling. What? Smuggling. Welcome to Benin Republic. The first sight of things already tells me that I'm going to have fun. The first thing I notice about Benin Republic is the fact that the city or the country is neat. Like it is definitely a clean place. And I didn't get to see like dirt all over the place. I didn't get to see papers, nylons, and all you can ever think of that you see in well you know the country i'm talking about right so the other thing that i noticed about this country is the fact that the bike men are so organized they are so they pay so much attention to the lights i mean the traffic lights they pay so much attention to being careful rather than being in a rush i also noticed that the city is not that type of city where everyone is in a rush it's calm this is calm i i can't explain how it is but this is calm i feel being here and it looks like somewhere that i would 
definitely like to just go chill or maybe stay I don't know yet but like I said the first sight at this is very beautiful <music> I am sure you heard someone screaming, oh, I finally get to see Range Rover. Well, this city or Kotono, it's not a place that you get to see lots of flamboyant cars. At least for the while I was here, I didn't see much of the big cars like you would see in Lagos or any other city in Nigeria. What I can deduce from that is that the people that live here, they're contented people. Yeah, you might say they don't have money. You might have your, you know, your doubts about that, but... I believe that the people that live in this country, mostly French countries, I think they are like that. They are not after showing off, but they are after really, really living their life. Welcome to my first hotel. Come have this experience with me. So I noticed something. This hotel is actually fine. It's an okay hotel. However, I noticed something in Kotonu and in, in Benin Republic generally. The rich, the poor, the average kind of live together. So you kind of see like a really fine house and then next to it you see like a very ghetto-ish kind of house. And you're wondering how is this even happening so if you look at this hotel you would you would really not believe that it's actually kind of in a ghetto but it's not really a ghetto I can't explain it because you can see other fine houses or average looking houses around not fine houses average looking houses around and then this hotel is somehow facing this hotel is somehow facing the beach so it, it's actually a beautiful environment, an environment that if it's where to be, the country where I live in, definitely no poor person will be seen around here. Anyways, let's enjoy the rest of the video. <laughs> So guys, I'm in the hotel, but I'm still very stressed, like super, super stressed. I just clean my face. I use my SPF. I hope that you guys can hear me. What's up? Get into the hotel. Hey, you guys know what's up? I don't know who I was modeling for here. Perhaps I was modeling for you guys. But this is actually what I wore from Lagos. A slippers, black on black. And of course, always have my sweatshirt like um, um, outfit or cloth just in case I get cold. So, well, let's just keep at it. that's me today and I'm super excited I'm looking forward to all the fun nothing serious small room I'm actually sharing the room the wardrobe is very 
very small very Frenchy French um, yeah basically so fridge supposed to be like a table um, so hold on sorry I that's a bed oh my me it came like this this is nice wow quite small yeah that's okay so this is my face after the trip i guess it's not looking so bad so tired but i'm actually really tired i'm having like this neck pain and um, slight headache but i guess i'll be fine